everyone, Christina Werner here with another card video for SimonSaysStamp.com. Today I'm going to be creating a stamped envelope and a matching card using the elements in the card kit for April 2018. So this kit actually has a ton of supplies in it. I'm only going to be focusing on the ink pads that come in the kit and the stamp set and also the brush that comes in the kit. As far as papers or card stocks that are included in the kit, you do get two envelopes and I'm gonna use one of the envelopes today. So I'm taking that envelope and I put it inside my Misty stamp positioning tool and I'm going to stamp some butterflies from the Beautiful Day stamp set from the kit. Now I'm gonna stamp the butterflies on the left side of the envelope first and then I'll be embossing those images and then I'll stamp a couple more on the bottom edge. So I'm going to put those butterflies onto the door of the Misty, and my Misty is particularly dirty, but don't worry, I did clean it up later. And I'm going to prep the area with an anti-static powder tool. This is a powder tool from EK Success, and that just preps the, t the entire area so that when I stamp down with the Versamark ink, and then when I start applying some embossing powder, that makes it so the embossing powder doesn't want to stick to areas where there's not ink. So the powder just kind of dries everything off and primes it for the perfect heat embossing. So I'm using some alabaster heat embossing powder from Brutus Monroe. This is a nice white, fine detailed embossing powder. And I'll just hit that with my heat tool until everything is smooth and melted. Like I mentioned before, I'm gonna be stamping some additional butterflies on the bottom edge. So I've placed those into my Misty Stamp positioning tool and I'll stamp those two butterflies in Versamark ink as well. And just like before, I'll go ahead and sprinkle on some white embossing powder and then heat set that with my heat tool until it's smooth and melted. So now I've got my Tonic Easy Clean Mat down on my work surface here. I'm going to do some ink blending using that Distress brush that's included in the kit. I've introduced a third color of Distress Oxide ink. So this first color, Picked Raspberry, does not come in the kit, but you could definitely do this entire envelope and the card using just the two colors that are included. And the two colors you get in the kit are Squeezed Lemonade and Mermaid Lagoon. I thought these three colors would work really well together and I absolutely loved them. Just to clean a little bit of the excess ink off this brush, I did wipe it with a baby wipe, and that seemed to work okay. I had no color transfer onto the next two ink pads. I didn't have any problems with that. And as I blend on this squeezed lemonade, I want to make sure that I'm overlapping into that picked raspberry area. Picked raspberry area. The one thing I really love about blending with a brush like this is that you get really soft color. It's easy to blend the colors overlapping and get an, a nice transition shade in between. And I also like that you don't really get big streaks. If you really want a soft kind of fading edge to your colors, using a blending brush like this is a great option. I've moved on to Mermaid Lagoon, which has sort of a greenish tinge at this point, and I like that transition into the yellow. I think it looks really, really pretty. So that is all of my blending over those butterflies. And the thing that's cool about the heat embossed butterflies is it resists a lot of this ink on top. So you're left with the color around the butterflies and then the white butterflies. I'm going to take a distress spray, you could use a spray bottle or even just put a little water in your hand and then I sprinkled that on and when I bring in a paper towel I'm going to place it right over the top of these droplets and then I'll pick up some of that color and that gives it just a little bit more of an organic look to it. Um, almost looks like sparkles or a bokeh effect, something like that. Now because this is an envelope and I'm going to mail this off, I'm putting Vanessa's address on here. Vanessa volunteered to let me use her address in a video, so I do have her permission to use her address for this envelope. I'm just using a pilot envelope addressing pen to address this envelope. And then I also put my return address on the, the flap of the envelope and I had it go along the bottom edge um, all on one line. I'm going to finish off the envelope with some postage stamps. These are some unused vintage postage stamps. You can find different places online to buy these. Just search for unused vintage postage stamp. 
So now I'm going to create a really simple card to go with my envelope. I started out by using some white cardstock and I'm stamping in some Versamark ink. Like before, I prepped that area with an anti-static powder tool and then I stamped the image in Versamark and then sprinkled on some white embossing powder. Once again, this is alabaster embossing powder from Brutus Monroe. I used the same three colors to add some ink blending over the top of this butterfly. I started with the squeezed lemonade in the center and then I used picked raspberry in the top left corner of the butterfly. And so sorry about that uh, footage being a little blurry there. It's going to blur out one more time here before I'm done. And I'm adding Mermaid Lagoon to the remaining area of the butterfly. So Simon does have some matching and coordinating dies that are in the works. Watch for those soon. But since the dies aren't out yet, I had to do a little bit of fussy cutting to cut out the butterfly. I then took the white cardstock that's included in the kit. This is the Simon Says Stamp 120 pound ultra thick cardstock. It's great for card bases. And I cut that in half down the middle to create a top folding card. I scored that at five and a half and then folded it down. I'm gonna do some stamping and I wanna protect the back of the card. So I'm using some two inch wide post-it tape and placing that above the fold of the card. I'm going to fold back those sides so it's nice and easy to handle while I stamp. And then I use some VersaFine Onyx Black ink and the leaf stamps that are in the card, in the card kit stamp set. So I'm pressing that down. I started near the top in the center. Then I'm going to use that seam stamp and also the smaller three leaf stamp to kind of fill in this area at the top. My idea is that I'm going to have a little bit of a background that's all black and white stamping and then I can put that colorful butterfly on top. It really makes the butterfly stand out and look really, really pretty. I don't think I've ever stamped VersaFine Onyx Black ink on top of this particular cardstock before, and I really loved how smooth and even coverage I got. So I think I'm going to have to use this combination again in the future. I did want to mention though that this ink, because it is a pigment ink, takes a little bit of time to dry. I used my heat tool to help speed up the drying process, but um, your, your best bet is to probably just let it air dry on its own. That way you don't run any risk of warping the cardstock with your heat tool. Um, so I stamped the I Adore You greeting on the front of the card as well. And like I said, I used my heat tool and then I removed that post-it tape. So you can see I have a nice clean back to my card. I put some foam adhesive on the back of the butterfly and then place that right on the card. So that is the card for today. It matches the envelope, which was really fun to create. If you would like more info about how you can get this card kit, the contents in it, which you can buy separately, or if you want to subscribe to this kit and future kits, go ahead and go to the blog post that's down in the video description. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in another video very soon. Mm -hmm.